in this short module we will just prove one proposition that is the uniqueness of limits proposition let xn be a sequence sequence and xn converges to a then xn cannot simultaneously simultaneously converge converge to a point b that is different from a in other words the limit of a sequence if it exists is unique proof proof well let n from 0 1 to natural numbers be the function that comes comes from the definition the definition of xn converging to a okay so instead in, in, let me just not take it from 0 1 let me just take it from r plus to n recall that it doesn't really matter if i had a function from 0 1 to n that satisfies the definition of convergence you get a function from r plus to n as well you will understand in a moment why i had decided to choose uh, the function from r plus to n now without loss of generality without loss of generality we can assume we can assume that b is greater than a okay you uh, please go through the entire proof and check really that this assumption of b being greater than a is really actually without loss of generality let epsilon by definition be equal to b minus a by 2 i am just choosing an epsilon b minus a by 2 let small n be greater than n epsilon now you should have figured out why i chose n from r plus to n there is no guarantee that b minus a by 2 will be less than 1 that's not guaranteed okay let n be greater than n epsilon then we must have we must have modulus of a minus b is less than or equal to mod xn minus a plus xn minus b right but but mod xn minus a is less than epsilon but mod xn minus a is less than epsilon why is that the case simply because we choose small n greater than n of epsilon okay but and and mod a minus b is by definition just 2 epsilon it's just 2 epsilon by the very definition as b minus a is just 2 epsilon okay what this tells us what this tells us is that 2 epsilon 2 epsilon is less than or equal to epsilon plus mod xn minus b right that means mod xn minus b is greater than or equal to epsilon and this is true for all n greater than n of epsilon okay if you think about this what this is really saying is that for our choice of epsilon our choice of epsilon mod xn minus b is greater than or equal to epsilon whenever n is greater than n of epsilon okay this means this means this means it is impossible it is impossible to satisfy 
satisfy the definition of convergence of convergence for xn converging to b for this choice of epsilon i can never find an n of epsilon such that if n is greater than n of x epsilon mod xn minus b is less than epsilon that's simply not possible because after a particular stage more precisely our choice n of epsilon the sequence is always at least epsilon distance away from the point b so the definition can never be satisfied for xn converging to b so this shows this shows this shows the proposition proposition and limits and limit of a sequence is unique is unique this is a course on real analysis and you have just watched the module on uniqueness of limits